Oi, welcome to the Piper's Table. Ah, yeah. Let me regale you with the tale of Sir Puffington. The most unconventional knight in all the land. Now, picture this. A towering figure, clad in shining armor, wielding a mighty sword, and puffing a pipe like it's nobody's business. Yes, that's right, a knight who smokes a pipe. Now, you might be thinking, but, uh, isn't smoking bad for your health, Sir Puffing? And to that he'd say, Oh, a little bit of smoke never hurt anyone, unless, of course, it's coming from a dragon. Well, you see, Sir Puffington wasn't your typical knight. He didn't care much for chivalry and fancy titles, now. He was a man of action, with a sharp wit and an even sharper blade. And that pipe of his, well, let's just say that it had a uh, certain charm to his already rugged demeanor. Now, as he rode into battle, Sir Puffington would crack jokes, often, and make light of the most dangerous situations. I may be smoking, but you're the one who's about to get burnt, he <laughs> quib before riding headlong into the fray. But don't let that fool you, you see. Sir Puffington was as tough as they come, with a heart of gold and a spirit that could not be tamed. He fought for justice, for honor. For the simple pleasures of a good smoke after a long day. And maybe a few ales. Anyways. Now, another tale. This one's a tale of the White Knight. Riding to champion the days of yore. Flying a proud banner high in honor of lost legends. Such as the original Balkan Sobrani. This ironclad rider mixed Cyprian Latakia, Yellow Virginias, Macedonian Orientals, including Yenigida. I don't know how to say that word. It's of a foreign tongue, outside of the kingdom. Anyways, he's riding to bring it back to the kingdom, to put it in our uh, English blends. That's right. The White Knight rides for good tobaccos. Gathering up the mystic leaf from foreign shores and plains and bringing them back here. We can enjoy them in excess. Here at the round table, the piper's table. Well, some say it's the closest thing they've ever had to the original Sobrani. I've never had that. So, anyways, I'm going to break character now. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. On a serious note, yes, the White Knight. I know I've been saying I will do a review of this for like a year. Um, well, I'm finally doing it. So, Mr. Spade, if you happen to catch this one, <laughs> here it finally is. Waited so long that probably nobody cares anymore about White Knight. Anyways, I'm enjoying it out of this phenomenally cool and muscular pipe this is the saxon this is a k woody this was a gift from my good friend ryan bilby a uh, very kingly gift this is a huge bull and look at that i have huge hands and i mean that would swallow up a whole thumb which i won't put in there because there's a burning ember but Love this pipe. Probably one of my favorite pipes. This is my newest pipe. Definitely one of my favorites. Instantly. You know, and uh, you, I know you can't see it, but 
That's what it's called right on there, the Saxon. So I thought, what a perfect pipe to uh, smoke some White Knight out of. Well, anyways, um, I actually opened this tin about a year ago and put it in a jar. And uh, we'll talk about it here for a second. So, you know, a lot of a lot of the tobaccos that I've done reviews on, I just open them up and review on the fly. A little bit of research, you know, just enough to know 